Pizza time. Let's be OP as a strength build in Bloody Bond. So, start a new game, discover your violent past, and get touched by an old man. Hey there, little fella. Be traumatized for the rest of your fucking life and run out the fucking clinic. Avoid the werewolf and grab the stuff around the area. Climb up the safety ladder and spam X to get into the hunter's dream before you get touched again by Furbits. Bye! Get your fat ass back here. Once in the dream, grab your preferred weapons. Doesn't really matter at this point, but don't pick the cane. Head back to Simply Yarnum and down the shortcut and grab some Molotovs. Head forward and hug the right side to grab our first upgrade material. Meet your way through the crowd and take a quick left to another shard. Roll your way to freedom and kill some puppers. Head left and towards the shortcut. Kill a vulnerable old man and grab some cocktails. Head out the other door and grab another shard and open up the shortcut. Head back and up the stairs cheese some werewolves and pick up some more blood shards. Head towards Evelyn and collect any souls in the area. Talk to her and grab some hunter's marks. Put her in a place and cheese her off the ledge. Ella throwing some shit at her and finish her off with some juicy souls. Grab some more souls and kill a bunch of flatless crows. Get the urns and drop down to another shard. Head up the ladder and grab the shortcut. Grab the music box for insurance and a madman's. Head down the ladder and grab another shard. Head up the ladder and at the end and activate the shortcut. Copy madman's and head back into the dream. Grab your weapon to plus two, pop all your souls and level up your decks to 13 and pump the rest of the points into strength. Head back, grab some more Hunter's Marks, and now it's time to cheese Daddy Gascoin. <laughs> grab the brooch. Open up the gate and grab the tool on your way to the cathedral ward. Alrighty now, so we're gonna grab a bunch of shards and our armor set. Now let's head to Yarn and grab souls and stuff in the area. Talk to Alfred to get some fire paper and resist the urge to kill him. Hit the lever down the hole and grab another gem here. When you hit the bottom, there's some more cock to pick up. 
light the lamp and head back to the drain to level up your weapon to plus three. And insert the gems that you have. Alrighty then, let's annoy Jura and speed run our way through the area. Making sure to pick up the fire paper, everything else is a bonus. We also want to head down to the secret area, grab another gem, weapon, and armor set. Get my revenge by cheesing the hunter. Excellent. And start our journey towards the blood starved bitch. Grab the beast pellets and whatever else you might like. Get your buffs ready and head into cheese the blood starved bitch. Head back into the dream and change over your gems and pump levels into endurance and strength. Now let's head into the newly opened door and do some shit in the workshop. Grab some twins and drop down to grab the doll's outfit. Go up to the bottom and cheese Mr. Beast. Make your way out and open up all the gates. Grab some souls, poison knives, and twins. Let's grab some more twins before we face Amelia. So head right. Cheese some hunters. Confuse the pedophile and grab another twin. Poke the bear! And finish him off. I happen to get a gem here, which is fucking awesome. Kill the scurry boys and claim their twins. Head back to the dream and pop all your souls. Sell the weapon and the doll set. Level up whatever, I, pr I probably should have put some vitality in, but meh. Now we are ready to face Vicar Amelia. It was at this moment that he knew. He fucked up. Bruh. Destroy it, and now we can touch the forbidden skull. Head back to the dream and grab our ticket to hell. Now, we basically just want to run past everything, but if you want, can grab some souls along the way.
So we want to open up the shortcut before we tackle the next step, because you're probably gonna die, because I died. So our aim is to get all the chunks in this area, so go left and dodge all the bloodsuckers, and kill the scurry boy here. Grab the chunks, twins, and even the weapon if you can. Now, let's get our weapon. Head right, past the enemies, and up the ladder. Sneak past the big boys and into the safety cave. Now, we want to get this scurry boy, but don't let him get too far as a tough enemy will then spot you. Grab the chunks, and then jump down to get our pizza cutter. Now that we have our weapon, let's get the rest of our OP set up. So first we're going to go face the witches and grab a triangle gem for our weapon. So just run past everything and yeet your way to the lamp. I'm just going to run through the area and pick up some twins along the way to open up the shortcut. Alright, so now that's open, let's get our gem. Kill another scurry boy and activate the boss fight. Spend all your insight and cheese the witches. And we can now grab the rune tool. Head back to the dream and equip any runes we have. Now we have to go through the hentai forest. To grab a tonsil stone, a communion rune, In her summons. Blood pellets. The cannon. One chunk in a couple of runes. Now that that nightmare has ended, let's head back to the dream, equip our new runes, sell some shit and level up. Upgrade the cannon and switch the gems in our pizza cutter. Alright, let's get some more chunks and awesome gem from Kane Hertz.
The gym is pretty easy to get. You just drove down here and... They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine. When you're not really fine, you just can't get into it because they would never understand. Yeet your way to the castle and beg for the door to open faster. Let me in! Let me in! Hitting clip chunks and armor sets as you make your way to the main room. Once there, we'll do a skip to activate the second ladder. Head up. Kill the scary boy up there. Head down and jump to the last chunk in the area. Now we can get the rest of the chunks to get our weapon to plus 9. So head to the other Amidala in the Cathedral Ward and walk to the lecture building. And into the suspicious crumpled fog. Hmm. We pretty much just want to yeet past everything and get to the end of the area. There will be two large scary boys which will drop some chunks. This is all we want from the area and then we can get the fuck out of here. We now can get our weapon to almost god tier before facing the shadows of Yaman. If you want to get even more OP, you'll have to visit the Chalice Dungeons and no one wants to do that fucking bullshit place. But you can also farm these lovely ladies as they drop some good gems as well, but farming is not poggers. I hope you guys have enjoyed this guide and found it useful. If you have, leave a like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more awesome vids just like this one.